These are the people that I look up to. I could care less about what Jay-Z doing. People keep asking me, is Jay-Z and them like Masonic? Is they like, you know, are they like, you know, Masons? Who cares? When Allah promised you victory, why are you worrying about what they putting together? Put yourself together. Get prepared what Allah got for you, inshallah. I'm not into all the propaganda. I'm not into that stuff. I don't watch the media. I don't watch the news. I don't listen to the radio. I abstain from these things. And I try every day to detach myself from the dunya. And you know what Sahaba I'm following? Musa ibn Umayyah. For those of you who are not familiar with him, he was the pride of Mecca. They used to call him the flower of Mecca. For lack of better words, some of y'all from the street, he was the flyest kid in Mecca. Flyest kid in Mecca, subhanAllah. He had it all. And he gave everything up, even his life, for the sake of Allah Ta'ala. And when it came time to bury this brother, all they found was a cloth. And when they tried to wrap him from his head to his feet, his feet would stick out. And they tried to wrap him from his feet to his head, his head would stick out. So when people try to praise me about what I sacrifice for Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, this is what keeps me grounded. First thing click in my mind, Musa bin the man. You know what, I ain't give up nothing. I ain't did nothing. So find your Sahaba rookie card. Who's your Sahaba? Keep your Sahaba rookie card on you. Because these were the best of the people. These were the people that abstained from the life of the dunya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sacrificed. And that's what we need to do. And in order to truly wake up, and like they say, smell the coffee, we need to sacrifice. We need to be more grateful. Gratitude goes a long way. We show our appreciation for things that have no value. We show our appreciation for things that mean nothing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We spend our time which we will be questioned about on Yom Al-Qiyamah, not in the memories of Allah. I know many of you, you don't have to expose your sins. Spend hours on Facebook, hours in front of the computer. Probably in three years, you'll be wearing glasses the size of whiskey bottles, just thick glasses, just sitting there, damage your eyes. But when it comes time to Salat, You'll wait till almost the next salat is in. Then you go posturing and pecking like a chicken real quick. I gotta hurry up and get up on the head and try to have some women. That's the problem. That might be your last salat. 